Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we want to have a look at VCAs. If you watch my basic synthesizer video, it's linked in the video description, you know that for a basic modular synth, you need at least a VCO, an envelope generator and a VCA. The VCO brings the tone, the envelope generator controls the tone, but what does the VCA do? VCA stands for Voltage Controlled Amplifier. This means that it uses a voltage signal to control the amplitude or volume of a signal. The most common way is to control the signal with an envelope generator. Let's have a look at this. We have two signals, one is the tone coming from the oscillator, the other one is the gate signal which we patch to an envelope generator. Also referred to as ADSR, because it controls the attack, decay, sustain and release of the signal. A VCA usually has an audio in and output, and a CV input, which means control voltage, which is our second signal here that controls the audio signal. So, whenever a gate signal gets sent, either from a sequencer or by holding down the key of a MIDI keyboard, the gate signal goes through the envelope generator, where we shape it, and from there to the VCA. As soon as the signal hits the CV input of the VCA, it opens the VCA, so we can hear the tone. Now, depending on the envelope signal, it will be a rather short or long tone, and abruptly or will slowly fade out. So, without the VCA, we would just hear a constant tone coming from the VCO. Often VCAs offer two CV inputs, like the Xeoc Tallinn, or have a switch where you can change between linear and exponential or logarithmic curve. You can use other modules to control the VCA as well, for example an LFO. If you speed it up, you will get the warbly tremolo effect. A good module for starters is the Erika Synth Pico Modulator. It combines an envelope generator and VCA in one small module. I made a video about this module, it is linked in the video description. That was it for this video about VCAs. I hope it was interesting for you. If so, leave me a like, a comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. See you next time on the...